Hello, this is Yogesh for 7000 again, and I'm back on my series on stories from the Puranas. And today we'll be talking about a story which is about a forest called Kamara. And this forest was in the day, the ancient, ancient days, or age rather, of Krita Yuga. As we know, there are four yugas Krita Yuga, followed by Treta Yuga, followed by Dwapar Yuga and then the last yuga is kali yuga the day and age we are in right now so in that forest it had not rained there for a hundred years and uh, everything dried up and the creatures and living creatures in that forest started to suffer because of lack of water and uh, then the sage or maharishi atri decided that he would meditate and do tapasya and try and please the gods and bring the rains and um, sage atri was one of the seven maharishis created directly by brahma so he had that he had that power of meditation he was one of the seven saptarishis so when he decided that he would do tapasya or meditation to try and bring the rains by pleasing the gods Maharishi's Atri's wife who was called Anusuya she thought she also will perform together with her husband for the same reason for bringing water to the forest so both of them started to pray to Lord Shiva and uh, both were doing severe penances and austerities and deep meditation and tapasya and many many years passed this way and they continued to meditate without eating or drinking meditation meditation and meditation and one day after a few years Maharishi Atri's meditation was finally over and he felt thirsty so he asked his wife Anasuya to go and get some water for him to drink and uh, while Anasuya was going to get some water in the forest the river Ganga appeared before her in the form of a woman and Ganga said I am pleased with your tapasya she told Anasuya I am pleased with your meditation and tapasya what boon do you desire so Anasuya immediately said in case you are pleased with me please make a pond here and fill the pond with your water and goddess Ganga said okay great I will definitely do that and she immediately created a pond and filled the pond with water and then Anasuya Sage Atri's wife filled her water pot from the pond and brought the water to her husband Maharishi Atri. Now when Atri drank the water he thought this water was much much tastier than the water they had been drinking earlier and then he asked what was the mystery behind it. So when he asked Ansuya why is this so she told him the whole story she narrated the whole story how she went to the forest and goddess Ganga or the river Ganga appeared before her and she asked for a book and she asked for a boon from uh, goddess Ganga and she created this water or a pond filled with water and that's where the water is coming from and uh, this time both husband and wife sage Atri and Ansuya came back to the pond and uh, they prayed again to Ganga and asked her to stay here in the forest forever and goddess Ganga agreed to stay in this forest on one condition goddess Ganga asked that 
Anasuya, the wife of Sage Atri, will hand over whatever merits she had acquired over one year of her meditation or tapasya. So this was a condition that as long as Sage Atri's wife Anasuya handed over to Goddess Ganga, which is the goddess of the river Ganga, one year of her merits of her meditation her tapasya then she would stay in the forest forever and Ansuya obviously she agreed to it and goddess Ganga stayed in that forest in the form of that water and the pond forever and in the meanwhile Lord Shiva also appeared and he offered to grant an Anasuya another boon and Anasuya again asked Lord Shiva that Lord Shiva please always be present in this forest and Lord Shiva agreed as well so with the power of her meditation Anasuya could bring goddess Ganga into that water and also have a pond filled with water all the time in that forest and also made Lord Shiva agree that he would also be present in that forest and to which obviously both Ganga and Shiva agreed and this place became extremely sacred over times and this place is called as Atrishvara Tirtha now there are different opinions on where Atrishvara Tirtha is but it's somewhere in in the jungles of <clears throat> North India in today's day and age and since it's coming directly from the Puranas this story is coming directly from the Puranas I will request you to have firm faith and belief in it hopefully you enjoyed this story and in the meanwhile I will recommend subscribe to my channel and check out my website there is a link below and I will see you with the continuation on stories from the Puranas very soon goodbye